Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my autumn sort of transitional essentials, so products that I'm reaching for in this transitional period between summer and autumn now that it's starting to cool down a little bit. I know it is getting a little bit warmer elsewhere in the world, but I feel like some of these products are also very transseasonal. So that's what today's video is going to be about and let's jump right in. So I don't exfoliate my body that often during the summer. I do it, but I tend to lean away from it in comparison to how much I like to exfoliate during the autumn and winter months. And so now that it's cooling down a little bit and I'm enjoying spending time in the shower or the bath when it's a bit hotter um, and cooler outside, I've definitely been reaching for my exfoliant more. And the one I've currently got is the Tuscan Tan Exfoliating Sugar Scrub, which looks like this. I have no idea where you can get this because this was a gift from a family member, but I'll have a bit of a look and if I can find it online, I'll leave a link to it down below. It's basically just a vanilla caramel sugar scrub as you can tell through the packaging. Um, it's really good. I like it. I will probably not repurchase it just because I want to try some others, but definitely have been really reaching for that recently, like the last few weeks especially, trying to just remove those dead skin cells. Everyone's drying out, you know, that whole gross period. So I've been really, really enjoying exfoliants in general. The next product may not come across to you guys as a typically autumn product, but it is the Body Shop Vineyard Peach Body Lotion, and I just mean the body lotions in general. This scent is no longer available, but I really, really want um, a couple of the other scents, so I probably will be picking this up again. The reason I am loving this is because when it's autumn and you're wearing, it's really transseasonal, so it might be cool in the morning and cool in the evening, but warm during the day. I don't like to have something really thick on my skin. I still like it to be nourishing but not too thick and this is really really nice. It also has the most delicate beautiful scent as do all of these. They're strong enough that you can smell them but they don't overpower any scents that you put on du during the day throughout the day. So um, yeah I've just really been enjoying this. Moving right along to lips and these were in my recent favorites videos so if you guys are getting a bit sick of them I'm sorry. The first one is the bubblegum lip scrub from Lush. It is just a sugar scrub. I don't need to tell you guys much about this because everybody knows what it is. My lips tend to become quite dry during the drier months um, especially sort of almost on the inside of my mouth. I don't know why so I really really like using this. Maybe once or twice a week just to keep my lips fresh so they don't get cracked and dry when there's wind and all that kind of stuff so really loving that and then like I said in my favorites the product I've been using after it is the Nivea lip butter vanilla and macadamia um, I have a lot of uh, lip balms that I alternate between but this one has been one that I've stuck with for quite a while now it smells amazing, it's nourishing, it's not too heavy. I just, I really, really like these and I know they got hyped up when they first came out but I think these are really decent products that people still should be talking about. To spice things up, I've also included a few like actual beauty products, makeup items. Um, two of them are the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains which look like this. I've had these for so long, since they first came out, my voice is going since they first came out and I really didn't get into these. I know they were a big thing a while ago and everyone was into them but I didn't get into them at all um, but now I feel like I tend to use very like harsh lipsticks, thick matte lipsticks all the time and I want something a little bit softer so I've been quite enjoying these. Not these colours in particular, I want to really branch out into the world of these. I really want to try the um, Soap and Glory ones. I don't know if we can get them here but I really want to try those. So yeah I've been liking these and I have this one which is Smitten on my lips today which I feel like is a nice transitional colour. It's not too dark but it's definitely not summery so really enjoying those. And then a little bit closer to what I'd normally tend to wear is the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede I think they're just lipsticks in 35 backstage, which the packaging looks like this. This was not what I expected this to be. Um, basically, it is a nourishing lip product. I really, really enjoy these. They have a slight sheen, but they're not um, shiny or glossy as far as a lip gloss, so they're a nice in-between um, season sort of thing. They're not too heavy. They work really well over... Um, Lip liners, I'm so tongue tied today, they work really well over lip liners, so it gives you a really nice finish. I'm just really into these and I will probably pick up some of the other colours of these because I just have been really enjoying this one. 
And then I've got two nail polishes here for you guys, two complete extremes of the scale. The first one is Essie's Chinchilli, which is a very famous product. It is basically a purpley, taupey grey, which is really, really nice. It's a nice nude colour for this time of year when it starts to cool down and I've been wearing this quite a bit. I had this on my toes for a long time and I feel like when it gets a lot cooler this will be something I'm really reaching for. And then on the other end of the scale I have Essie's Devil's Advocate which is basically a red but it's so dark it is black. I am obsessed with this colour. I wore this like non-stop for several weeks in a row when I first got it because I'm so addicted and I can just tell this is going to be one of my favourites and moving into the season I'm obsessed and I can tell all year round it's just going to be an amazing product. So, so those are the products I'm currently reaching for in this transitional phase of the year. Some of them are things you can use all year round, so they don't have to be specifically for this time of year, but they are products I've been reaching for more recently, so yes. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you were interested, my necklace is from Collect, and it is still available. I think it's about $15. Um, it's a really beautiful, delicate piece of jewellery, so I really recommend this. And yeah... If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below telling me what your favourite or must-have products for the autumn-winter period are or the transitional period because I'm very, very interested in that. I also wanted to show you I have been um, practicing nail art on myself because I want to learn how to do it and I think I've mastered the leopard print. So if you guys were interested in seeing a tutorial on that, I would be willing to do that. I'll insert a clip now where you can see my nails. So yeah, let me know if you want to see that because it's really fun and it's so simple. I was really shocked at how simple it is and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye guys! Um, my lips...